Hello, I'm Jake Levin. Welcome to Inside the MLB here on 1011 Chicago. Alongside our, uh, our phone number, uh, 312-222-4831. Um, alongside me to my left, I have Gabe, Gabe Paik, and to my right, I have Grant Perlberg. So the big topic right now in sports is the trade deadline. It's coming up here at uh, 6, East, 6 p.m. Eastern time today, and it's really big news. Um, so what, what for you two guys, what do you think has been the biggest um, – you know, the biggest uh, event that's happened so far. I'll start with you, Gabe. Um, for the Soto trade by far, the amount of prospects uh, the Padres gave up is ridiculous. It's never been seen before. And the amount of quality prospects, they're not just a bunch of decent project, uh, prospects, they're all pretty good. And so that's amazed me so far. Yeah, just to add on what you said, Grant, uh, even Jeff Passan called it on ESPN. He was really stunned and shocked. Um, not only that he broke the news, but with the Hall was back, and now you know the Padres have a big three with Tatis, Machado, and now Soto, and it's going to be very interesting because the Padres they're going to really compete with the Dodgers um, uh, moving forward now. Yes, absolutely. The Nationals, the team, uh, they just gave up their you know their star player, and now they're definitely rebuilding. They've been very bad this year. So um, now moving on to. Uh, a very recent trade that just happened, um, uh, Joey Gallo to the Dodgers um, from New York. What do you guys think of, uh, you know, also the uh, outside of baseball aspect of this? Um, I'll start with you, Gabe. Well, I think this makes um, at least some impact for the Dodgers. It's just, it's just going to add uh, more fire um, hitting for their team um, alongside Muncie, Bellinger, and Freddie Freeman, and that top to bottom lineup. Um, easily one of the best along with you know the Yankees and you know the other great teams uh, in the MLB and it's just like a very interesting move I feel like. I really don't see how this makes the Dodgers that much better. I mean Joey Gallo is known for hitting home runs and when he's not hitting home runs he's useless and right now he's not hitting home runs and he's batting 165 so I don't know how it would help the Dodgers. So um Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Call it. Oh. All right, now our call is uh, finished, so. Your producer is uh, saying we have a caller on the line here. Oh, we, we have a call. caller on the line. Hello? Hello. Hi, uh, I'm just wondering about your Joey Gallo segment. I was an absolutely awful kid for the Dodgers. Joey Gallo is one of the worst hitters in baseball history. He does nothing but strike out. It looks like he has a hole in his back. I don't know what the Dodgers were doing here. He had a lot of low average guys with Bellinger and Muncie were setting a hole. Another one of them got Gallo. Really hate with this move out of Freeman. I don't know what we're doing. Really haven't made any moves here. So like prospects and I don't know what we're doing. I don't like this trade whatsoever. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Well, I totally agree with you, Caller. He really does not help the team out. Again, if he's not hitting home runs, he's pretty much useless. I mean, he does get on base, but the base percentage is, again, down this year. So I totally agree with you. Well, yeah, he is. Yeah, because for the most part, he can be pretty useless and not really anything to the team. But when he does get hits and when he does get those home runs, that could actually be um, game-changing for, you know, those um, – you know, walk off hits or walk off home runs, and so he could just be a very interesting p uh, piece that fits in. Yes, Joey Gallo, very intent on leaving New York. Um, not really happy with the fans there, and I think that's going to conclude our show for today. Uh, thanks for tuning into 1011 Chicago for Inside the MLB. We'll see you next time.